Testing, testing, mic number four. Testing, testing, mic number four. <coughs> testing, testing, mic number four. Give me, give me the go ahead, guys. We're at the bet bar. Okay, second one. Test. Shay! Hey, go back. I'm just finishing up Benawada Cricket's latest masterpiece. Voila, here it is, the Bepara Venawatu Blast men's T10 competition. Yes. Oi, Shay! Hey, go back. I'm just finishing up Benawada Cricket's latest masterpiece. Voila! Here it is.
I don't know, I think I'm back by <laughs> Very first slip. Well, I don't know who said it originally, but it's all happening here at the VCG. <laughs> <laughs> it is all happening. Unbelievable. He said it might be a bit tacky, but because it dried out a lot the other day, there's a little bit more moisture underneath it today to make it hold out, uh, stay together for the whole day's play. Um, but yeah, left arm spinner going away. It's been probably been uh, his nemesis over the years, the left arm orthodox spinner. It looked like they did kick a bit and surprise him, and a good grab there by Nipico. Swung hard. We've got Philip in now and say uh, Philip will either block or swing he off his, himself off his feet, which he tried to do that time. <laughs> but yeah, two down for one in the first over. Unbelievable, but great start for the Ifira Sharks. And they'll be they'll be cock a hoot over there in the in the dugout. Team manager Mark Dunn, he'll be jumping out of his skin over there at the moment. Stefan Sandy, off spinner, got the Dujra, got all the tricks. He's got the old Carl Hooper, Viv Richards run up, which is one step. And uh, he's one of the most relaxed units I've ever had to deal with. Um, so he'll be just roll his arm over off two steps, but he put a lot of action on the ball. So it'll be interesting. And I say, 
Game on now. And then and Clement Tommy, he's been around a while. He's made a lot of club runs. He really needs to step up here today. It's a big swing, and Clement has got it. That's the first six of the day. He favours the leg side and he tried to when he got out and he hit it straight up in the air. So he's gone again, he's hit straight up in the air and it's gone straight in the mid off. Abo Steven makes no mistake. Well, he's just hit a six. It's long sweep. He's come around the wicket, so it's angling across him. I'd like to watch the replay here, but he said he had to step up and he's probably irresponsible. Well, one jump, the one Andrew Mansali got obviously kicked a bit, and your team's two down, you two good players, and you're the next national, international batsman. Um, he had to really probably apply himself a little bit more, Damo, and he'd be disappointed, and the team would be dejected over there. He swings to say he's got all the muscles. He's an absolute unit, so he'll be trying to put all those bench presses and bicep curls to work here and try to hit one over the fence, I reckon. Yeah, here we go. And he's in the bowl. And he swung hard. He's just hit it to deep square to old Nico. Nico Unavalu back in the team. He's been out for a little while in the wilderness, but he's back. Yeah. We're three best batsmen. Three, they're three. It's seen the power play. The guys are just taking it on, and only Razu's really won the power play so far with the bat. Definitely jumping a bit. That stopped and popped a bit as well. Another one's popped again, and Vera. Yep. It just looks a little bit tacky there. The sun's just gone down, so a bit of cloud cover, maybe just making a pitch, the moisture come to the surface a bit. Well, that really stuck in the wicket, didn't it? I'll be bowling spinners non-stop, I think. I was out there today. Well, it's usually Joshua Razu, but Apo's taken over the reins as the curator. And maybe he knew that's why they bowl first. Well, that come through okay, that one, so... Maybe it's a bit patchy. I'm not too sure. Um, they go well on top here through. They've got to be careful. They've got to... You know, the Sharks didn't bat well the other day. They've got to be looking to say, let's get 80. And we'll, we won't have enough here. And he swung it into the breeze to the leg side. He's going to get a single. But they're taking them on. There's not many balls going along the ground. Everyone's tried to... Besides Andrews, Mansali's 
one that kicked. They've been trying to go over the top all the time, haven't they?
Is it good? Just below the right, sitting in the top of the pad, thigh pad area. I reckon it's got him too, he doesn't look too happy. I think he's got a bit of flesh there. Missed, missed the padding. Uh, looks like he's got no thigh pad on there. That's a trap for a young player. It's not normal village melee cricket where he's from. <laughs> It's good ball and nipping. Ball's a heavy ball, deceptively quick sometimes, but just hits about hard. It's always a wicket take. It's swinging both ways and ball's a bit of death for the national team. So this will, this will suit him. And I think if they can sneak 65 here, they're in the game because what? Sharks got bowled out for the day. Boys, yeah, the keeper Vera's caught the ball before he even swung the bat, I think there, just done him for pace, not sure if he's been practicing facing the quicks or not, but he doesn't look like it. Or... Out chance, there could be an overthrow here. If the no, if I was Philip, I'll be taking the strike. Then you get back on strike. Got enough? After the 36, 36 bowled out, 35 bowled out the other day, the Sharks. Patrick Motatava, Andrew Mensali, Darren Water. No? All right. Back in a minute. I reckon it's going to get down to the wire. I reckon it's going to be close. You're really back in the Sharks here, aren't you? As, uh, no, Olympico comes in for the last bullying. Straight at the stumps. He's got bat on it. One, 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 oh, one. Sneak through for a single. They should be pushing hard. They could have got two. There was a fumble. But once again, they just take it a bit easy. And that's the inning break. And six for 61. I think you've got to target those other guys. You've got to say, all right, I'm not going to try to hit Pat out of the park. Play him as a normal 50-over game, loose ball, hit the four. Respect the good balls, same with Mansali. And then you target, we've got Wartu, Godfrey, probably the lesser known bowlers that you can just call off them. That should be the game plan. It's only six and over, it's just over a run of ball. So you have to do anything silly. Yes. Yeah. Banana Bay doctors hasn't really come in. It was in before, but it's a bit gustier today. The forecast is not. The Befana Venuatu Blast men's T10 competition. Yes, that's right. Live cricket's back from Venuatu. Oh, Shane! Hey, you're back. I'm just finishing up Venuatu Cricket's latest masterpiece. 
Voila, here it is, the Betbara Verawatu Blast Men's T10 Competition. Yes, that's right, live cricket's back from Verawatu. The top three men's club teams will be battling out for the Bet Bata Vanuatu Blast. And we've got three aggressive captains who've got something to say about it. Hi, I'm Nalini Pico, captain of the Idria Sacks, and I only have one thing to say to the other team. Do not swim in sack infested waters. You're not ready for this sack attack. I'm Joshua Rasu, captain of the mighty Efate Panthers, and I have like this to say. Panthers are excellent swimmers and are stealthy. We are ready to attack on land and water. I'm Andrew Mansale, captain of Nele Tafir Bulls, and I have this to say. Sack belongs to water. There's no pandas in Vanuatu. Bulls rule this land. Shane! Hey, we're back. I'm just finishing up Venuata Cricket's latest masterpiece.
sound to quantum is working working yeah Cool. 
Sound check, sound check. Sound check, sound check. One, two, one, two. Sound check. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, we're back here for the second innings of the first game of the Bet Bata Venuatu Blast for today. Andrew Mansour is going to open the bowling from the Lagoon end. And he's bowling to Nala Nipigo. Yeah, I like this. Captain against captain. Uh, Mansali failed with the bat today after a 75 off 38 the other day. Look, he wants to be in the game. He needs to be in the game. Um, and he wants to control it from the outset. Defending 60, they need early wickets, Damo. Well, they need this wicket. They they need Narling Nipico out. And with this score, Narling Nipico knows he can take his time and just feel where he is. Uh, and look, and they've got their best fielder down at mid-on, so they expect him to go down downtown to mid-on. Patrick Mataltava down on the boundary there. Uh, Patrick is also named in the Associates World 11. Is that correct? A couple of years ago, run by one of the online sports mobs. He's in the bowl, punched it to the bowl. It's a dot ball. Yeah, from his performances in 2018, in particularly against uh, Germany in that tour of the South African Division 5. It was unbelievable. Outstanding. Play. Yeah, well, still outstanding. And here we are, man, Sally again from the Lagoon. End in the bat bar of Vanuatu Blast, and he tosses it up. Yeah, Nali Nip to go nice there. Just tucks it round a short, fine leg there, and he gets off the mark with a single, and I like that. He looks like he's going to show a bit more application today. Yeah, William Yamak, he, 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 I don't know if he's a great spin bowler. He'll be looking for that one-step hit down the ground with what he's looking for. Will go over cover, loves it over cover. This would be a really good matchup, Nali Nipico. Just coming down to give him a little bit of advice here. And I reckon a bit of tackiness is off the deck now. But I was just about to walk around before. That sun is hot. And I reckon any tackiness in it would have dried out as Mansali's in the bowl. Yeah, it pushed yeah. it into mid wicket. And Ooh, Nali Nipico it? calls him through. And bad running by Yamak. He's, he's, he's run through and tapped the bat down rather than sliding it. And he could have easily been out. Yeah. Yeah, well, that is the first thing you learn as a kid to slide the bat, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. What the coach has been doing in Vanuatu over the years. <laughs> Shout out to Simon Keane if you're watching. I'm sure you are. Here we go, Mansali in again. And, and Nipico. right up, and that's out of there. Straight over the Bet Barta uh, players dug out there. That's his huge six. That was right. Step hit. Three metres, tossed up, bang, out of the ground. In the arc, yeah. And great, pressure, great pressure really on Mansali now. And Nipko's done exactly what he wanted to do. He's waited for a ball that he wants. He picked his ball and he didn't overhit it like the other day. Yeah. He just timed it and stroked it for a good 75, 80 metre hit. Over the bet, Barter sign. Here we are, Mansali in again from the lagoon end. Nipko taking a very wide stance. Oh, and he's closed the face on it and he's just tucked it in. Well, he's just gone the outside edge. It's just gone to a shorter point, and he gets through for a single error. And good running by Yamak at the other end. Very experienced club player, um, Yamak. They've been busy. Look busy. That's good. That's a good sign, I think, by, yeah, nine by off, these two. Yeah, nine off the over. They don't need to do anything silly here. They need to, this little partnership to roll and, and just not let um, Mansali and the Mili Tafia Bulls get back into this game at all. Nah, it's good batting. Drop and run. He did it the first ball he faced because he's not a great player of spin, Yamak. So, obviously, if I was in the outside of field, they've got to be in there because he likes the ball coming on. So, he's not going to take the big risk. And, obviously, they talked about how they played in the 
first match. As first they match. obviously bowl out for 30. They look like they've got more of a game plan and know what they're doing. Yeah, I, they got here early. They were warmed up. They had a really good long warm-up in the nets. And they look a little bit more focused today. And, and yeah, Nipico is a key here. But I really like what William Yamak's done. He's just, he's just played his role at the other end. They've got a, a boundary off the six, uh, the boundary six off the fourth ball. And they've taken 10 off the first over, chasing 60, 62. It's a great start. It's a great start. That's what you need. If, they, if they're none down after the power play here and got a few runs on the ball, it's going to be surely game over. Must and strike here. Matsutava must strike here. Must at least knock over Nipico. Mm. It's actually a good... Match up for the Sharks, having Yamak on strike, because he can, he can smack him for a few fours and keep Nick Bicot away from Patrick. Yeah, um, we think it'd be better off spin, but when you've got Patrick Matatava in your team, you bowl him. Oh, a little outside swing there, and he's beaten Yamak, who's just gone leg side a little bit, which he will, and he's just gone for a dot ball by beating the outside edge. We've got to slip in for that little out swing that Patrick's known for. Yeah, it's good pace too. Very good pace. Got keep us keep us standing quite a distance back there. And Andrew Mansali starting to go into the the elder category, and he's taken first slip off me. And national team here are Mansali again, shorter ball. I'm at the again, short ball. That's a good bumper. He's nowhere near that. Too fast. Too good. Too fast. See, slow hands getting slow movement. I'm sure Simon Keane's looking at that, saying he must be moving, dropping that shoulder, picking that front foot up as the ball's releasing. What, what's he do now? He needs wickets. He can't bowl bumpers. He needs wickets. It's well, got to be... Yeah. Man, unless he's looking for that top edge, but full and straight, this one. He's done that. Just slid on leg stump. Chance for a run out? No. It's good yep. batting. Got him off strike. Yeah. Yeah, well done by William Yamak. He just gets through for quick seeing there. Good backing up by Narling Nipico, as you'd expect. Um, and here's the matchup we're after. Patrick Mateltava, Narling Nipico. This is the big wicket, and we've got the best bowler, best pace bowler in Vanuatu coming in here. Just looks as though he's lost his mark a little bit. And right. It's a beautiful winter's day here now. Mid-20s, hardly a breath of air. Sun is shining. Hello to all our friends in Melbourne freezing. <laughs> Patrick Mateltava comes to the ball. Nice outswinger. It drew Nala Nipico into the prod outside off stump. A classic outswing bowling, isn't he? He's pitched it up. He's a great outswing. Nip Nipico just comes forward and he just reaches for it and beats the outside edge. I'm sure the boys Essendon and Clint Mackay would have been very happy to see his old protege uh -huh. bowl that little outswinger. And here we go. Nipico's it on the leg side. Quick leg side. single. And Good. they get there. Good backing up by William Young. Really good running between wickets. They really good cricket intent. Good awareness by both batsmen here, as you'd expect. Matal Tava, last delivery here. Really would love a wicket. Really would just love to open their account up here and start to build some pressure on the Afira Sharks. Matal Tava coming in from the Bellevue and look the ball out swinger. No, he's bowled short. It's oh, he's the got the glove. He's gone. The well, bouncer worked. He's not his greatest shot, and he was a bit slow on the first one, so it's not a bad tactic. He was, well, no, he was very no near that short ball, was he? No, the, the first, he first one he was weak behind. The second one he was behind again. It's caught him on the glove as we watch the replay. Not Patrick's best ball he's ever bombed, but it's got him a wicket, see? and he's a little bit happy about that. As you can see on the ball, the ball's released from the hand and pitching, and the batsman has not moved, and they can't be playing a full shot at that pace if you're not... Having the correct technique and moving in the right way as we got Jamal Vera, keeper batsman, out to bat. Second ball duck, so he'll be keen to get a bit of bat on ball early on and get his tally underway for the that part of Vanuatu Blast. Yeah, he'll, he'll be at the non-strikers to start with. Very keen. His cricket awareness will be really good here. He'll he'll drop it, he'll run. Uh, he'll be a great partner here for Narling Nipico. So if these guys can stay together for a few overs, this game is in the bag. Well, Jamal... He's a real finisher in T20 cricket for Vanuatu. Has been for a couple of years now. Got all the shots, all the scoops. So it's a great thing. He's just got to try to stay in there for to the fifth or sixth over. Then that comes in his own as the finisher. So that will be his game plan, I'm sure. And if giving Nala Nipigal the strike to do some damage in the power play as uh, Wartu, Darren Wartu, gone for the quick bowler again. He's going to bowl the third over of the innings. Yeah, I'm not sure what the tactic is here. I just thought both batsmen would have, would really enjoy the pace on, so I, I'm surprised they haven't gone for another spin man, Sali, again, or another couple of spinners they have in the team. But here we got Watu in from Lagoon End, charging it, actually. 
He's banged it in. Nipico comes down the pitch to him. He's underneath, edged it, and it's gone to fine leg. He comes in and gets it on the circle, and he's got away with a single air. Definitely doesn't need to do that. Doesn't need to do that. He's just, if he bats seven overs, Nipico, it's game over. He, he could just stand there. He's a good enough player to stand there and deliver, so that's what he really needs to do. Well, I guess he, it's young Watcher who can he can win a game, can turn a game on its head. So I think he just wanted to dominate from the start. No one down the ground. So it was a if he hits the ball, it's a free hit down the ground. Yeah, the recent tour to Melbourne we had in March before coronavirus kicked in around the world, Watcher was our quickest bowler. And he's down breeze now, and the keeper is a long way back. He was you know mid one thirties in Melbourne, so if he finds that pace today, he might be dangerous in the bowl. Well, that's just stuck in the wicket a bit. Maybe the keeper's a bit too far back. <laughs> He's Clement Tommy. He wasn't back. He was standing on the circle to Eddie Mansell the other day, bowling about 90 kilometres an hour. Well, so. Clement Tommy has got soft hands. He will stand back and let it come oh. to him, won't he? <laughs> Pete Duffy, as he was keeper of Mantone, surely you could have told him to stand up a little bit closer, mate. <laughs> yeah, but I like Watu. He looks very strong here. Comes in again. Back of a length. Good pace. Good pace. Right, it hits the splice of the bat. And that's a good place to be. And I've just a little change in the field. Patrick Mantel Tarvis coming to short mid wicket. There'll be no short singles or cheeky singles on the leg side with him there. We've got Andrew Mansali at a short cover. There'll be no little singles there. So the pressure's on here. Yeah, it's good pace, that. He's hitting the really deck hard. Pace. Not much yep. in this pitch for the quicks. And he's steaming him, big Darren Watu from the Lagoon. And he's in the bowl of Vera. He's chipped at the square leg, a little single. Get off stride. That's what he needs to do. That's a good. Good ploy from Jamal Vera there, and I think. Well, Arlen's I think just got to wait for wait for his time because he's got all the shots in the book. He doesn't need to invent shots by running down the deck, in my opinion, Damo. Well, I don't think he needs to. If he was anything, he'd probably I'd probably like to see him go back in his crease and just sit on that ball and just hit it over square. That's probably what I'd like he to bowls see. Length, he likes to bowl back of the length. The full shots on if he gets the chance. He's got the cut shot. He's hit it straight to the fielder, unfortunately. He's timed that beautifully, but straight to the field. He picked that gap. That was four. That was a nice shot from Nala Nipigo. Yeah, it's ominous signs there when Nipigo is starting to hit him out of the middle. Yeah, and that's, that's the length he's going to bowl. He's going to bowl that length, that nicking length. So if he gives you a bit of width or just drops a tad short, the pull shot and cut shot are where you're going to hurt him and use his pace. But the slip is in the game too here, I think. Yeah, watch it win again from Lagoon End. Oh, I'm not sure that he needed to come down and do that. They wanted... They want to put the young fella under pressure and they've taken three off the over and they've taken them through for one for 15 off three here, Shane. Yeah, the crowd's really livening up. There's a great atmosphere here. There's a lot of chirp coming from the crowd. A few of the Melee Tapia crowd have just turned up and there's a lot, a lot of vocal support coming from the crowd. Another good crowd here today. The Holiday Inn uh, hospitality tent is a little bit bare at the moment, I'm sure. That will be full later, and definitely after 5 p.m., it will be absolutely pumping, Damo, and I'll be sliding be. in there for a Tusker. <laughs> I'll give you the strong tip. Shane, tell me what you think about this. We've just replaced our best bowler in Vanuatu with Godfrey, who leaked a few runs the other day. We need wickets. You've got the best batsman out there for the Fira Sharks, and in his cohort, you've got Jamal Vera. I think Patrick Matautava should have been bowling this over. There's no, use, that there's no use keeping him for the end if the end is uh, not irrelevant. Not far, yeah. So... You go for a wicket, but Godfrey picked up a couple of wickets in the exhibition game a few weeks ago. Maybe they might just take him on. He might just buy a wicket. He's not sure. That's a great pull shot. It's on the long, deep square leg. They got the one easy single. Well, I don't know if he's going to go away from bowling them all afternoon. Still wanted to use his feet there, Nippy Cup. Don't. I think he's just standing there. He could have just played a normal pull shot and probably put it over the grandstand for six. Or if he just waited, he's going to hit it behind square. So yeah. little change of fielder here again. We've got uh, third man, fine leg. We've got a deep square behind the post. We've got mid wicket, mid off. A little bit, f and they've sort of moved back on the on the circle of fielders. Watch who in again. Ah, uh, straight Godfrey up. Again. Keepers call for it, and he's got it straight up in the air. Yeah, Jamal Veer. I'm not sure if that was. Not sure if that was exactly what he needed to do there. I think there's plenty of time. The fielders have moved back onto the 30-metre circle. The, the runs aren't an issue when Nipico's at the other end there. I don't know that he needed to do that. No. We just said he's just got to rotate. to strike somewhat. We'll have to see a replay here. Might not, though. But, um, yeah, I think Godfrey, short ball, was there to hit. Played the right shot, just probably execution and technique. 
and they get the chance to see the replay. Uh, it's a handy wicket, but we've got some young Bethan Molly coming in. Here's the replay now. As he, he's used his feet again, and it's just, that's I don't know I think why it's it, downfall. There's four four balls have used their feet, and four balls have had two misses, a dot, or two dots, a single, and an out. So. Not sure of that tactic really. There's no no need to be playing that shot. As in the bowl, short ball again. It's a good pull shot. Stand and deliver. That's what he needs to do. And there's three out on the leg side, Damon. Why? It's a baffling tactic for me. We don't need a, a run a ball. And very good running there by the Affair Sharks. And they've had a a little bit of a mix up of the bowlers in with Patrick Mattel Tava there, and not the best throw coming in. And they've snuck back for. A, a second and got Nipico back on strike. Look, I'd probably like, like to see, see Nipico, Nipico back, back in his crease. crease. If, if he, he goes, goes back, back in his crease, that, that, that ball, ball is chest tight and, and he puts it wherever he wants. wants. And he's, he's just, just going to stand there. there. He's he's good enough to, to play, play someone bowling 120 is at best. If his is just stand there, he should be able to play him quite easily. Got it in again. Short again. Short again. Very short again. Nipico hits it hard in the ground. Oh, the non striker looking to come back from two. He's going to the danger end there, but very good fielding and the throws come in. Very quickly, very flat, and he's just kept it to the one. Good fielding there, and they need to do good fielding. The Melly Taffy Bulls are known for their fielding and fitness. So five times use their feet for two singles, two dots, and a wicket. So the percentages aren't there to use your feet. There's Beth O'Malley, young under 90s captain from last year. Really good 50 over player. He usually steadies the ship. Really good as a little fella. Good on the short ball, particularly the cut. Exceptional on the cut shot. Godfrey comes in, gets a short ball again. He's called the no ball. It's a front foot no ball called by Greg Walton at the Bellevue. I don't think they've got Bet enough Bart inside in. the circle here, Damo. Oh, no, no. Fine, I'm not sure Fine Leg was in there or Fine Leg's come running in after the fact. Uh, well, that would have been called by the square leg umpire. So I'm going to say it's definitely a front, front foot, foot yeah. front foot. And here we are. And Beth and Molly's gone back in his crease. I think he should be expecting a short ball. Everything else has been short. It's a free hit. Slow and ball. He's bottom edged it, munged it, the long line just, the easy single. But good energy from running, hasn't it? Stepped up the game a bit with this energy between the, the wickets, the running. The melee Tafia Bulls never showed that urgency, did they? No, they didn't. I think their awareness here, and I think maybe the captain being out there. Melee Tafia lost their captain early, or they lost their three best players yes. early. Here we go, Nippy going strike. He's good half a metre out of his crease here. He banged it short. He's flat batted it just to Andrew Mensali, who takes it comfortably at mid wicket, and he's just going to roll it in there. And we've taken seven off the over, and that takes us through to I've got us at 22, but I'll just check the update scoring here. We might be 21. Two for 21 off four overs, and it's game on here. It is. It just got below the run rate a little bit, but the, we've got Godfrey one over to go, Darren Wartu one over to go, Patrick Motatava one over. Andrew Mansali won over. So they've, they've only used the four bowlers. So Eddie Mansali's got a bowl at some stage. He bowled two the other of his little right arm under clothesline slingers. Well, he, he got a couple of wickets, but he did go for lots of runs too. So now you've got a couple of young spinners in their team, which potentially could bowl. They might have to take a risk. But Walter's on again. Well, Nalling Nipico is showing his colours here. He's got no respect for his pace. Even though he's bowling 130s, he's gone for the cap over the helmet. Um, okay. Interesting, interesting call. Yeah, it just puts pressure on yourself, doesn't it? It just gives you something to think about. You don't need to. I don't understand that. This Mate. modern day, if you can't get used to wearing a helmet, yeah, well, you must go. know something we don't. You can't...
probably watches a bit too much TV. He's only a metre away, though, if he hit it for six. That's right. Uh, and we talk about hotheads. We've got one hothead's walking out. Another hothead, uh, Nico Unavalu, coming in. He'll be at the non-striker's end here. Let's see what uh, Nulling Nipico does on strike. He just needs to control his last 10 runs here. Nothing silly. Eddie Mansali in. It's that's down leg wide, side. We'll that's wide. not what he needed with his right arm on the clothesline. Slingers. This is the first of two games this afternoon. We've got uh, 16 deliveries yet. Left. Melly Tafia Bulls defending 61 here. Just needing another 11 to get. Uh, another 10 to get, I think. Actually, I haven't quite got that right. Just waiting for the wicket keeper here. And we'll be underway again. Eddie Mansali coming in. Bet Barta signed behind him there. That's and good And Nipico bowling. goes... Oh, Ooh, big shout. Good, he actually mate. liked it. Let's, I wasn't watching the, the screen here. But he hasn't called leg by, so has he hit that one? He hasn't called leg by. He must have called it off the bat. Anyway. Man, Sally in again. And That's Nico gives point. it a flat bat just in front of, just behind point there, and he slipped over at the non-striker's end, and they'll just stick with the single. And that's not a bad result for Nico off the first delivery. Yeah, Nico, fast bowler, bowled a lot, played a lot for Vanuatu, just gone missing the last couple of years. He's getting back. He'd be a good, good club player. He's got fast hands. He can hit a big, big ball. He's got like a hockey, little hockey swing. Yeah, the court. big long levers. He will hit him in the banana trees here. Um, this is and a big ball. coming this in. This is a big ball. This one. He's just blocked it. I think great cricket awareness. Keeper runs out to short mid-wicket there to, to collect that there. And good to see Clement Tommy coming up to the, the stumps this afternoon for Eddie. Yeah, he needs to get in the game. He was standing three pitches back the other day, getting them on the third bounce. As an old keeper, that breaks your heart seeing that. <laughs> Nico Unalavu on the strike here now. Mansali in. Back of a length, top edge. It's just gone to Watu. Was that Godfrey? At That's short, Watu, Darren Watu. At short, third man. And that would be a wicket off the second last ball of the over. And Eddie Mansali's taken another two wickets. He took two in his first over last last game as well. So we've got... Alan's on strike now. I think he's got to try to just get a single hand tape Patrick Matatava. Well, I think he because showed... The young players on strike. He, Patrick can bowl four with York as a bowl him out here. I, what would I like to see? I'd probably like to see... I think Nico... Uh, Narling Nipico showed his hand. He's just blocked the last one into short mid-wicket and taken a single off the last delivery. I see they've moved their best fielder, Patrick Mataltava, in there now, so there won't be that option. I think he looked to drop and run somewhere here. Eddie Mansali coming in. It's a full ball. He's clipped it over short mid-wicket. That's four. And that's a beautiful shot for four. It looked four. like he got a leading edge there off the bat. I thought he just tried to hit it. Or square leg for a single. And I think he'll learn a little bit from here. If he just stands still and waits for the ball, he can hit it wherever he likes. Yeah, well, send me down, are they, mate? Uh, we're four down. Ah, sorry, we, five we, down. Are four, we are four down. <laughs> we're five down. We're actually five down. We are five down. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Patrick gets five quick Yorkers here with this tail. No one might not get face another ball. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Oh, look, we've got four. We got three more runs to get here. Uh, look, I think it's a we little the bit, sharks. We a little bit too late. <laughs> we very biased commentator. Well, I, I seen against Samoa. They needed about ten runs, and they were only three down. And Patrick got six far. He got four Yorkers right and one over, and got four wickets. And that was in the yep. T Twenty World Cup qualifier in Lismore in two thousand and fourteen. Well, he's done it before. I've seen him take six for de six for ten against Norway. He's finished it off games. Did it again against Malaysia. Here we go, Matal Tarver in from his favourite end. There's one. If you miss, he hits. There's, There's one. one. I'm telling you now, Nipico might not face another ball here. I tell you what, guys, if he does get another couple, and if he actually gets this game home, you watch the backflips. He will hit some backflips here. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, I... It's going to turn out well here. Here's a chance to bowl them out. The next players haven't got their hats on, haven't got their helmets on. 
They're all over the shop there. They probably thought they're going to win. But that's where the, the likes of, particularly, well, Beth and Molly was in. Beth and Molly. Apo probably going for the big shot. Beth and Molly was outstanding. Uh, while Nipico's there, Nipico just needs to probably go down and have a quick chat to him. Is it Vince Vera coming? I can't I quite think it's tell Vince what, Vera, but I, can't tell what the hell I don't on. think he'll get the face on the ball, mate. Of course, it could be six Yorkers here. It could be six wickets. Or five, if that's all they need. Four more, yep, five. Well, he's done it before, so I, I would believe it. Well, we know what he's going to bowl. He's going to bowl full straight at the wickets. You miss, he hits. I would probably like to see the field come in. You do not want to let these guys off the strike. And Mensali now just moving in point a little bit. We've got uh, fine leg back. We've got third man back. And the rest are inside the circle, I believe. And they, well, there's only two runs to get, so you have to do that. Here we go, Matal Tavra in again. Oh, oh he's just, just, he's probably hitting fourth, fifth stump there. So the, the Fura Sharks are clapping the dog balls. They know they just got to get through this over. And they're a massive chance to win this. They just got to get through this over. He, he was never in the in the ballpark of hitting that though. He's about to tab in again. He bowls. Oh, oh and it's, it's just... actually kicked if you watch. It's kicked and gone over off over leg stump by the look of that to me. He's nowhere in the picture to hit that. He's got to stand still, back himself, get a front foot in. It's going to be full and straight. Yeah, don't worry about the short ball. But the short ball, let it hit and the helmet go for four. Yeah, just bat on ball. If He's he can just, just... try to look for the hit the straight one. Full and straight, full and straight. It's coming. Matt Altava in again. Oh, he's followed the batsman down the leg side. He's got a little bit of bat on it. Nipico wanting to get to the other end. He knows what's going on here. But well, we've gone wicket dot, dot, dot. I think they're safe now. I think he shouldn't take the single. He's got to be on oh, strike for the last yeah. over. There's there's no point in him taking a risk, yes. If he stays at that end, they can't be bowled out and he faces the first delivery of the last over. Yeah. He's got to not take any singles now. Really enjoying the differences in we've had in games. We've had a high scoring game, we've had a low scoring game, mid score here. Matel Tarver in again. Oh, Good shot. That's four. There's no but no, it's two. He hasn't timed it. Go back for two. Go back for two. And that should be the game. And that is the game. They're about to shake hands there. Look, Shane, for me, Patrick Matel Tarver, you can't let him bowl 10 deliveries in a, in a shortened game. Yeah. He, he had to have bowled, I think when Godfrey come back on, he had to take the he had to take the wicket of Narling Nipico. Yes. And then the other guys could have taken care of the other batsmen. He had to take that risk, and uh, unfortunately, they didn't. And as you say, the best bowler is probably hasn't bowled out his two overs, which is a cardinal sin. Just and left him a bit too late in the bowling lineup, and you did call it early, mate. And we've got Melly Tafia Bulls here. They've gone two games for two losses. They're playing the next game against the uh, Mighty Afade Panthers, who they lost to on Thursday. They could be none from three here at the end of the day. Well, that's it. The, definitely the favourites for the tournament were the Melly Tafia Bulls. For various uh, websites and internet, Twitter, everyone was picking them to be the top team. Look at the big names. We haven't seen their best. Once they get on a roll, they'll be away. They've got a really athletic field. They've got a quite a tail. They've got some key hitters up the top there. Really good bowling lineup with the Godfrey's of what who's backing up. The old dog, Eddie Mansali. Yeah, but Patrick to Ducks is probably probably the best player in your fantasy team. You put all the money and he's got two ducks. He hasn't got through the first over yet. So maybe they can look at batting at three. Batting at the non strikers then for the first <laughs> over. <laughs> well, I, he's, got to do, he's got to do something. What I really <laughs> like is the captain that's thought about it. So, um, Nali Nipico opens with Yusuf Obed, turns the ball away from the right handed batsman. Um, they did the same uh, same thing on, on Thursday yep. afternoon here. They've really thought about how they want to bowl, who they want to bowl yep. to, and the game's just got away from them. Yeah, and um, I think they're in the hole now, and it's just what it's done is made the next game. This game, the top of the table versus the bottom of the table, Melee Tafia Bulls are going to put everything in this. There's, there's no tomorrow. If they go none and three, it's going to be a tough ride home to get to the final. And if they go three and three, uh, the mighty Afate Panthers, well, they're going to be favourites to get one of the teams into the final. That's for sure. Uh, we might have a quick break. I'm going to have a quick look at the pitch in the middle, see what it looks like. Have a quick break, mate. Game. We'll be back with the, everyone in the second game shortly. Thank you no. very much.